What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off up and last time, we had a massive fight over here against uh, this fort here, Fort Comcom, which we sadly had to pull back from because we have suffered quite a large amount of casualties. On other fronts, we are still fighting around Loao, and we are also um, pushing up in this region of Russia. Um, our new army under Ahmed Ismail is going to be slowly growing over time as reinforcements move up. And we have also taken Astrakhan with minimal casualties, so this army will probably move up towards Ufa. While our priests continue their march onwards, and in fact... This priest is going to sit here for a couple of turns and then he's going to move up. Actually, we're already converting Ufa very quickly. 10% a turn. But yeah, general, in general, I think things are going okay. We're earning a good amount of cash now, which we are obviously spending because we need to. We've got a lot of things going on. Oh, one second, guys. The doorbell's rung. And we're back. Ah, Christmas time and all that stuff. Um, but yes, we are pushing forward in all directions. I may actually take this force under Ahmed Siri. He may move east against these Prussians at Kaminiec. 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 So we've got lots of uh, lots of enemy cavalry, which we should be able to see off fairly conclusively. Pity we don't have any camels, because camels are great for knocking out um, hussars and light cavalry. Maybe I might have to start recruiting uh, camel trains coming up from the Middle East. Especially this isn't great terrain for fighting camels. My foot artillery may be somewhat underutilised. So let's deploy our infantry. So this is all our frontline infantry. It's not much, is it? Could spread them out a bit more. It's probably a good idea. There we go. And then let's split our Sekban Janissaries and uh, pikemen along the line, or at least bit more spread out like this. I've got my riflemen, which I'm probably going to group on the left flank because the terrain's a bit more open. Similar story with my cavalry on the left. Put the, put the majority down there. General in the centre. So the riflemen drop down stakes as a bit of self-protection. There's going to be a lot of square formations. They've already... So we've got two cavalry units charging, so these two units, you hunker down into square formation. Janissaries are ready to rock and roll. Killed a whole bunch of the hussars at the rear. So you guys fire it well off. Counter charge them with our Semat Janissaries. Put our Janissaries back. You guys hunker down into square formation as we bring up. So you bring up my pikemen, charge in. Pikemen here, charge in. Some of them have gone straight into my rifle moment, which isn't what I wanted. Friendly fire 
carcass shot coming in now as well. Retarget our pikemen. Now let's just start dumping artillery on the infantry as it shows up. These guys are a square formation, get them forming a line. Cavalry interception squad, move up. Summit Janissaries and my pikemen fall back. There we go. Let's move our cavalry up, ready to intercept. The, uh, their infantry when they were out. Watch these guys up. Keep our hearts is actually dropping on the Keep artillery attacking the how the um, in cavalry at the back, in so we can kind of uh, nullify them before release, releasing our cavalry to take out their infantry. So this is how it begins. May even intercept. Let's retarget my artillery. Pivot these men along. You guys can take out the grenadiers. Good. Infantry back or cavalry back. Because these are fundamentally mop up jobs. You're chasing them down. Now you guys go after them. You guys go after the Marines. There's three grenadiers for you guys to kill here. Just the one grenade, one grenadier actually. See, these guys are completely broken. They were just running around in formation. They weren't actually doing any killing. Exploit my general, but there's no really any need. So there's seven cavalrymen left, seven grenadiers left, three grenadiers left, two left, one. He's all the way back here, look. And it's a marine, and he's down. So that's a nice. Nice and cheap destruction of an enemy stack there. Obviously they had to run the most annoying direction. So much so these guys are going to walk down here. Hit them as well. With an auto. And back to Ayasi, get the howitzers marching up. Can't do any replenishment because I've run out of cash. Let's move up. You guys are replenishing but you're doing... You're pretty strong anyway. You've knocked back most of the forces here anyway. Sweet. Our, replenish our research is going... Well, it's going okay. We're onto lots of the higher tier techs now, so there is a limit. So, let's get some... As we keep moving up our agents into, uh, into Russian territory. I'm quite sure what direction this guy's going. 
If I made a concerted effort, I could probably break through the, the centre here. But I really want to secure my right flank against Russia. I don't want to drive in towards Vienna and then be attacked, like, you know, form a bulge, which I can be attacked from all directions around. Instead, I want to have a... a front line, a proper front line. So that's why I need to uh, subdue Russia first. And ultimately, that will do harm to Prussia, because Prussia is currently in the process of taking over most of, Rus most of uh, Russia as it is. So... In the end, it is good for our war against Prussia. Even if we weren't fighting Russia, we'd probably still have to push through and take their territories. The trick is just keep the uh, keep our recruitment going, keep growing our forces. Obviously our agents are still doing good work. Should probably build more of a garrison there. I'm not, I'm not so concerned about this area. Let's build the port in Baghdad and let's build one more Weaver's Cottage and then we have to spend the rest of it on... Uh, military Governor's Barracks would be a good idea, but it doesn't look like I can get... I can get janissaries, but I can't get, you know, proper line infantry. Okay, so what can be more directly recruited from nearby? Israeli. Oh yeah, I remember saying this one's going to be an Israeli heavy. What? No, where are you guys going? I think they were doing that because they couldn't pathfind through the uh, through here because it was blocked, quote unquote. Expand the army, repair the governor's residence, build new roads. I mean, you're doing a great job converting these people. So where am I? Nizam infantry. Or was that just in? That's because I've not built, not built up this fella, not built up an army, Vizirete, or however it is pronounced. Let's make sure I upgrade this town to a craft workshop. Uh, let's not worry too much about Persia. Let's just focus on up here. So you want to build better roads to improve our ability to push. It's got small falls here. Kurt Joseph von Schwedin is up here. So that Moscow. Gotthold Kola. And another fairly benign army. So what's that Kazan? Yeah, just an army of Konrad Habersack. But yeah, just an army of uh, militia, really. Which is probably what I should be doing, rather than sending a full army. But I'm mo mainly bothered about if I run into a a full stack. So you guys are punishing, and you're going to bring up the howitzers. You guys are replen replenishing as much as you can. You could probably do with... Now these infantry are going north. Yeah, they're doing the same. Whereas they should be going up here. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of manual recruitment. If I had Dagestan, it wouldn't be so much of a, so much of a problem because they would just come through all these different areas. United States clearances. Craft workshop built up there. That's good enough. I don't want to build. I don't want to build top roads in these areas because I want the uh, 
the Moogle push when it does come to be a bit more disjointed. And to be honest, I'm probably better off sending my agent up to Lahore. There we go, a lot of recruitment. <laughs> As everyone marches up to this army. Cool, there's nothing directly I want to do. I said you could do with cavalry, or with um, lighter cavalry, or perhaps melee infantry would probably be a good idea. I have to poach these sick burn janissaries and set them marching up to Moldavia. Good. Okay, one more turn to we get machine tools. As our men just keep on marching. They demand all of these technologies just f you know, separation of powers, advanced irrigation, wealth of nations, just for selective breeding. No. It's good intel to know they don't have those technologies. But they're not something I desperately care about. It has to be said. Maybe the army that's Astrakhan may split in half. One will go for Kazan and one will go for Ufa. To try and cover more ground. But also to keep them sort of close. But to bear in mind that all of those Russian... All those Prussian troops... They're either being recruited in Russia or they're being shipped in from the... Uh, around Scandinavia because they have no combined land border I need to move my monitor a minute because they're just close enough that if they wobble they tap against each other <laughs> they do have my elbow on the desk so that's probably making it jig about okie dokie ooh, a bit laggy machine tools, perfect New town emerges, Suez and Egypt. So I've got loads of new towns, which obviously I just need to keep upgrading. And I, I did notice I've not upgraded this in Bulgaria to a trading port. So you march up to Ayasi. So I'd like these guys to go for Crimea. Maybe these guys may even go for Kiev. Probably like a force here to pick up guard duty in the event that they get someone tries to flank around us. So they could take some time to build up Sek Banjanisi riflemen. These are Sek Banjanisi, not riflemen. Yeah, good. So these guys are ready. So like, I'd like these guys... Well, I'd like to keep one army here to support the army in Loyal, but I want to hit one, send one out to take Kiev and one out to take out Crimea. And let's do our manual replenishment here because we know the pathfinding can't work it out. Nope. All these guys just join in the uh, join in with this army here. Okay, so you can have it build a base mansion. Let's probably send. And actually, lots of these infantry aren't actually that great. We've got Azars and Semenes, and it's all it's a pretty low tier force. can leave Ashtrakhan. They might move up straight up to Kazan. Kazan, then hit Ufa, then hit up to up to um, Ust, because you can't actually... Oh yeah, you've got these kind of bottlenecks here. But just keep marching. Keep investing. Keep showing these people that uh, we are doing good stuff and that they do want us here. 
upgrade the farms, upgrade the weaver's cottage here. Are we upgrading the roads? We are. Good. Can we upgrade this madrasa? But we're not we're not completely we're not short on uh, religious capacity at the minute. So these this 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 army's pure job is to keep these guys supplied with troops. So these guys need to get some more Sekban Janissaries if I've not run out. Because that was Sekban Janissary Riflemen. There we go. You can pick up some more. You're still good where you are. I know I'm not doing as much here and you guys would probably like me to, but I'm covering this bottleneck. So right now, all of this comes down to this bridge and this pass. And I think that's quite a good position to be in while we make gains elsewhere. And obviously while we expand our hold in these other countries that may cause us religious problems later on. Yep, you're on the march. So let's get this guy to Howitzer's recruiting as well. So there you go. So now Istanbul and all these other various buildings are actually now all contributing to the wider military industrial complex. Obviously we've got some more buildings there. Down to 17,000 because we are building a lot of troops. So we do have to bear that in mind. Because we're recruiting a lot of men. And while we definitely have the seeds, they don't. Spain demands a military alliance. They're allied with Genoa. I have no allies, but I feel like I don't need any allies now. So who are they at war with that I'm not at war with? To be honest, we're at war with all the same people. And actually, they're at war with the Mughals. No. Even though lots of these things jive for me, um, I do not want to be at war with the Mughal Empire at all. I'm more than happy to fight against the same enemies Spain. I'm not going to make peace with them, but I am not going to risk war with with a fairly peaceful flank at the moment. Especially when the, the fort in Afghanistan is very poorly placed along the border. I can't put a fort there to immediately suck up all enemy forces that try and attack me. And right now, it's the, fort's fa the, the front's fairly open as it is. But worst comes to the worst, I'll abandon it and fall back to Persia and fight from there with resupply, with resupply from Baghdad. But the real hope is that I can dominate Europe. That's my intention, it looks like. The Russians want to try again. More than welcome to try. And I definitely want to get Quicklime. But I've got plenty of uh, plenty of schools, so I'm not concerned about pace of research one bit. Yep, still still there in Naroon. Just got a garrison there at the minute. Basic roads and Astrakhan becomes better roads. You keep on marching. I'm going to leave him because he's going to move anyway. Okay, let's start to form. This army. See, you can't... It's definitely this pass is very funky. So Sireli, Mamluk Guards, Nizam Infantry, some Sifahis, some Foot Artillery. It's not a bad little army, really. Don't need any more pikemen. Okay, let's just dump a whole load of cash on... Maybe not Commercial Basin. Not just yet, but instead let's start to pick up some of these industry buildings that I've not upgraded, especially the ones closer to home. And Jerusalem is finally starting to pay out. 4,000 a turn. Of 
Cairo's booming. Migi a lion mine. Yeah, go on then. Jerusalem, let's start to upgrade some of your buildings now as well. Move the artillery up. Move the janissaries up. I think cavalry was going to go here. Oh no, they're going to this guy. In fact, I'd like you to go this way. Inboard of the threat rather than outboard of the threat. There we go. So you guys are in pretty good shape. It's tempting to move it is tempting to move on Kiev before Mold Moldavia. So we do need to keep an eye out on uh, Denmark. So this cover is probably going to go to this guy. Because he hasn't got any. Cool. Got lots of emigration. 0.26%. Still getting food shortages. I suppose I've not upgraded the two farms up from selective breeding. I do have selective breeding, don't I? Oh no, I'm, I'm getting it, okay. Two turns to a quick lime, 11 turns to a steam engine, which is a good direction to go in, I think. Ooh. Don't we have a navy for that to kick, come in? I think right now those are a good selection of technologies. Let's hit enter. As our spy relocates. They demand wealth of nations and advanced derogation for 13 grand. Yes. They'll get the technology at some point. And I think 13 grand I can actually put to good use. That's a good uh, investment or a good injection into my economy. Austria's building up. Spain's at war with too many people to worry about them. Obviously it's the Prussians and the Russians that are going to cause turmoil. They've taken France. Did they have Paris before? Probably did. But yeah, Prussia's getting pretty strong. They've not, okay, but they've not, as a saving grace, yet combined their... Uh, front lines as it is they've uh, they are somewhat exposed especially where ah, the Russians have attacked us there so we're probably going to sally but we do have uh, Russians to the or Austrians or Prussians to the west so we might not necessarily be, sal be, be sallying we may bring the force that's to the southeast northward to help push them off. But firstly, I want to continue my invasion plans. Got another Hashashin in Persia. Let's so send him south. Let's just have lots of spies covering the front. Transylvania has grown. It can be a craft workshop. Great the mine. It's got 13 grand, so let's spend most of it. Ooh, na Imperial Naval Engineers School. Actually makes people happy. Reduces upkeep. It's 10 grand though, it's a lot of cash. Okay, let's upgrade the winery. Let's upgrade Greece, because Greece has become sufficiently important now as a military production centre. Yeah, even more fun and games being played on the deployment front. Let's 
They really don't want to go the normal way. Okay, let's finally relent and upgrade these guys to commercial basins. Upgrade you guys to an iron workshop. You guys to water power cloth mill. Let's get the farms up to scratch. See, Kabul's growing a decent amount. 88 a turn. That's not bad. Suez has grown. Can't upgrade it though because you run out of cash. Oh, that's not that's not many Prussians at all. So I, was, I thought this might be an actual army I have to worry about. Okay, let's move you men up. You guys are going up to them. As is, as is this artillery. Melee infantry move up to there. Foot artillery move up to Evad Evad. Evad Avni. Okay, so you guys, I want... <laughs> See, it's a lot of Russians. Maybe I strike out and hit Kiev. But these guys... Hmm. Okay, let's ignore that for now as a problem to solve. Keep you guys moving on Kazan. Keep them moving up. Is my Astrakhan region going to soon stop having any religious unrest whatsoever? I mean, this region is growing an Islamic religion at 4% of turns pretty darn quick. Looks like they're dealing with lots of lots of rebe rebellions up here, which I'm quite happy with. And it looks like they're probably just... Oh, no, they're not destroying schools. They're just... The priests are just moving because they now no longer own those schools. Let's take... God damn, this priest is really good. Imam. Fertile ground. He's just got really high zeal, but it's still only converting at about 3%. I suppose because it is a lot of people. <laughs> Nearly 2 million. Let's take my army and hit the Russians and sally out. Well, I definitely should have done this in the next episode because I'm going to run out, run over by a lot now. But whatever, we've not really done anything at the back end of this episode, so that's okay. You can tell when I get, I get bored and want to do some fighting because I just dive straight in without looking at where I am in the episode and what's going on. And Okay, so everyone just deploy it out. We're going to have howitzers back here. We're going to have foot artillery up on this rise. We're going to form a lovely, lovely line position. Oh, come on. Is there some... Ah, this rock formation. Okay, so we don't want to deploy all in like that. So let's put three ranks on the left. Three in the centre. And then some... The whole bunch of janissaries on the right. Put my Mamelukes and camels together. Put the Royal Mameluke Guard on one flank. Let's have a melee infantry unit follow each infantry block. General in the centre, house is firing carcass shot. You guys drop in square and stop firing at will. Get you guys out of square and deployed. You guys can fire at will. Aha! Deploy into line and fire at will anyway. Can just about sneak my men into the uh, 
to the edge of the map. Keep spinning our ranks. You guys pound this line infantry unit because you've got a great view. Oh, there's some fusiliers at close range. Dangerous fighters with the musket, make no mistake. But at close range, even Ottoman troops are, fair, are very devastating. Okay, camels intercept their general. Cavalry intercept this Cossack unit because they're barely destroyed. We want to do some good damage to them. Yes, General, he's fleeing from my from my camels, but you will not easily flee. Camels are always here. Oh yeah, they're almost dead. Keep my men flanking, keep my cavalry chasing down the Russian dogs. Looks like the Dragoons are coming back. Go on, Sekban Janissaries, take them out. General can't take it. They're even firing into the combat. Here come our sec band janissaries against these fusiliers. And what's one thing fusiliers hate? Melee combat. And what's things sec band janissaries love? Melee combat. Especially now they've been they've got like sec band janissaries around the flank. Take up that regiment of foot. Keep pushing. Kill the general. He should be right in the middle of you somewhere. There he goes. Let's see if my ca cavalry can chase down a unit of... Uh, those four unit of infantry. Damn right we're going to continue. Just pick a uh, cavalry unit. You guys need to not definitely not shoot at anything. And let's speed up time. Look at that. Lovely Russians for dinner. Some of them are going to escape, and that's fine, but... We can at least look at the destruction we have wrought. That's what happens, Russia, when you push up on an Ottoman town. Back you go, Sergei. Whoops. And we can replenish it with our finished with our current cash. Good. Combine these guys together. Where the hell of Where the hell did you come from? <laughs> okay, well these men are probably gonna push on Kiev. Because if they, if this guy tries anything smart, we'll take him out. The grenadiers might even take him out. Let's push this guy up onto you into Kiev. Start start kicking some ass. 
Cool. But looking at the timer, it's definitely time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.